Hi everyone, and welcome to the flip on the verb ser. Ser will be the first verb that we are learning of many verbs in Honor Spanish 1. So the verb ser means to be in English. We use ser to identify a person or to say where he or she is from. So for example, to say where someone is from, you can say, I am from Buenos Aires. In Spanish, you would say, soy de Buenos Aires. You could also say, they are from Venezuela. Or in Spanish, ellos son de Venezuela. Soy and son are both forms of the verb ser. Soy, you learned, this soy de is a phrase we learned in our last unit. So, what we're going to do first is conjugate the verb ser. So, what it means to conjugate a verb is that you're going to change the form of a verb to match the subjects. So, we're always going to use this chart and we're going to use our subject pronouns. So, our subject pronoun that goes in this box is yo. You, familiar, is to. Then we have el, he, ella, she, and usted, you formal. We is nosotros or nosotras. I know this box is crossed off, but go ahead and cross out those X's and write in vosotros or vosotras. They, when we're talking about boys or a mixed group, it is always ellos. They, when it's a group of all girls, is ellas. And you all, in everywhere but Spain, is ustedes. So that's just a review of our subject pronouns. Now I'm going to teach you all of our forms of the verb ser. So, the yo form, or meaning I am, is yo soy. Okay? Soy means I am. You are is the word eres. Okay? Tu eres, you are. We say, we use the same form of the verb to say that he is, she is, or you formal are. It is is. So whenever you use S, you need to clarify by using a subject pronoun or using a name. When we say we are, we use the word somos. To say you all are, but only in Spain, we are going to use the word sois. Oh, sorry guys. And to say they are, whether it's boys or girls, or to say you all anywhere but Spain, we use son. And again, since this son is used for so many different subject pronouns, you need to clarify who you're talking about by either using a subject pronoun or using a name. So please take a look at the practice down here. We're going to do this together. I'm going to give you a moment to look at it, see if you can figure it out on your own, and then we're going to check our work. So I want you to match the English phrase to the Spanish phrase. So looking at number one, we have we. We want to look over here for the word that means we. We have nosotros. So we know the nosotros form of we is somos. Okay, the nosotros form of the verb ser is somos. So nosotros somos means we are. If we want to say they are, they are, talking about all girls, we know we need to use ellas. So ellas son. Careful because ellos son looks very similar, but we know that means they when talking about all boys. Go ahead and finish this activity for homework. This video is due on Monday, September 10th.